as there's not a dull moment at Jantar Mantar with several of the top leaders, uh, so top wrestlers of the country banding together there at Jantar Mantar and demanding the resignation of uh, the WFI president. Joined by Congress uh, MP from uh, Rajya Sabha, Mr. Dipendra Hoda, here at uh, Mirror Now. A very good afternoon to you, to Mr. Hoda, and appreciate you joining us uh, at Mirror Now because you made that emotional pitch uh, and you stood up for all these uh, protesting wrestlers at Jantar Mantar and you have demanded that there should be a CBI inquiry into this entire matter. Why do you think there is a need to hold an inquiry, an investigation into this entire matter? Do you feel there is a merit in what these protesting wrestlers are saying? Because as of now, what the WFI president says is that he's terming these allegations to be absolutely baseless and politically motivated. See, uh, first of all, let me say what uh, yesterday marked a black day in the sports history of this country. Never in our nation's history has such grave allegations been made against any sports body. And never such eminent athletes and sports person have come together to make such an allegation. You know, who are sitting in Jantar Mantar are not uh, just one or two ordinary koi athletes. They, are, they represent 60% of our medals in last three Olympics. 60% of our medals are sitting there in Olympics, Commonwealth, Asian Games. And all of them collectively have made such allegations. Now, uh, after these allegations, the entire nation is looking up to the government to come forward. Our Prime Minister should come forward. Our Sports Minister should come forward. Their silence so far is deafening. They should come forward and tell the nation what actions they are going to take, how the justice will prevail. And, you know, my demand is very simple the demand we have put forward. To ensure that the justice is done, first the wrestling federation needs to be dismissed. And, you know, you said the, what is the need of the CBI inquiry. I'll tell you what is the need. There are two time kind of allegations. One is irregularities in functioning of the wrestling federation. For that, the wrestling federation can be dismissed and that inquiry can be conducted by a sports ministry. But then there are some criminal uh, allegations. And... For those criminal allegations, immediately the FIR should be filed, invoking all the relevant sections of Indian Penal Code. And to ensure a fair inquiry, you know, once a criminal allegation is made, there are two agencies who can conduct an inquiry. One, the state police or the CBI. But in this matter, why we are uh, asking for CBI is because this is a, not a matter relate, uh, relating, relating to one particular state. Athletes are from all over the country and the camps were held in all over the country, this particular one in Lucknow. So, CBI inquiry and a Supreme Court monitored CBI inquiry in a time-bound manner. And the report of that inquiry, the investigation report, should be brought out in the notice of entire nation and ex exemplary punishment should be meted out to all those who are guilty to rebuild the trust in the sports system. Let me tell you, I come from Haryana. It has taken a very long time for our state and indeed our country to build some kind of trust in the system so that the parents can send their child, their children, their daughters in the, uh, and they can uh, towards the sports uh, fields. Now, you know, you have such allegations and the government sits quiet. This, if continues, who will send their children? So it is very important to take immediate action so that that trust is restored. Just 15 days back in Haryana, a similar allegation was made against the sports minister of but Haryana Mr. by Uta, one But Mr. Uta, it's Haryana's wrestling body who has already athlete. rendered support to the WFI chief. The Haryana's wrestling body has already rendered support and they have given a clean shit to Mr. Bridge Bhushan and they have said that these allegations they, are politically they, they are motivated the, the, as an the effort Haryana, to malign the him. Why do you think let, they have come to his defense? See, the Haryana wrestling fed, uh, body which has support, supported this uh, uh, wrestling federation of India president, 
This body was just constituted one year, one year back. Earlier, I was the president of Haryana Wrestling Federation, let me tell you. And there were a lot of irregularities against which I had raised voice. Of course, these allegations about uh, the sexual exploitations are new and they have just come to light yesterday. But lot of misconduct were and lot of irregularities were conducting, getting conducted and I had raised that voice. And then, uh, because the Wrestling Federation of India were, found that very inconvenient, then uh, unfortunately I had to bow out, I had to put in my papers. And then this new body was appointed by the current uh, Wrestling Federation uh, president. Of course they will uh, back him because they were, he was, they were appointed by him. But it is not the question of nobody, see point is, the Wrestling Federation cannot give a clean tea chit chit to Wrestling Federation. The allegations are of criminal nature. They are the most serious and grave allegations. Only an investigation agency as empowered by the constitution but of Mr. India. But Mr. Hudda, now the government has intervened is not and the government agency. wants to have a dialogue with the protesting wrestlers. The wrestlers have decided that they are going to be heading towards the sports ministry okay. to hold a discussion. The government will make an effort to try and convince the wrestlers to call off their okay. agitation. But do you think that is not really going to solve the purpose and the whole intention behind this agitation? So, so, so let us see what happens in that uh, uh, conversation with the government. If the government's effort is just for the, to convince, like you said, the wrestlers to call off the agitation without giving any concrete action plan to the, which ensures justice, then with that will not be acceptable to the nation. Then we will continue to fight. See, we have to, as a nation, we have to stand up for those who have brought us glory. These are the sports people who brought us glory. Now, uh, you know, their own, uh, for their own glory they are fighting. And we have to stand with them. And we will, from the parliament to the street, we are with the sports, we are, uh, these sports people. We will fight with them and fight for but justice. But Mr. Hudda, these wrestlers the are very clear that they we do not the want time. any political patronage. These wrestlers do not want to give a political overtone to their agitation, whether it's Swati Malival or, I, for that matter, Ms. Priyanka Gandhi I, or you or Brinda Karat deciding to render their support. They do not want political parties to come and support them. What do you have to say about that? I respect this. I applaud them for this. Let their dharna be a political. I spoke to them yesterday, all of them. I, am, I, I spoke to Bajrang Punia, I spoke to uh, uh, Vinesh Fokat, I spoke to Sakshi Malik, Malik's father also. So I gave full support speaking to them and they expressed their, their view to me that their dharna, they want to keep it a political and they don't want political uh, leaders to visit the dharna and I applaud them for that stand. They want to fight their own battle. But you know, I, at the same time, as they are fighting their battle, no, nothing stops you and me. We represent this democracy as well, be, uh, be it in parliament or in media. Absolutely. We can fight for them also in our own way. And I appreciate what they are there, their stand. Well, I appreciate and let them you fight joining us here, Mr. Is behind them. Well, that is uh, Congress's Rajya Sabha MP, Mr. Dipender Hudda, joining us here at Mirror now and getting us his perspective, saying that even though the protesting wrestlers do not want political support, the Congress party will stand solidly behind them and ensure that there is justice done to these protesting wrestlers. Appreciate you joining us here, Mr. Hudda. And with that, it's a wrap on uh, this edition of the broadcast. Lots more lined up on the other side. So uh, stay tuned and keep watching Mirror Now.